Hey, hey, welcome back to the Coyote Car Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use an engine stand properly and effectively. Let's get to it. Stay tuned because in this video you're going to find out who won this little bad boy in today's subscriber video winner. So this is an engine stand. Um, it's comprised of a couple of things. You've got the legs. Sometimes they come out on both sides like this. And then on the back, you've got this nail that goes through, or I don't know what it is, um, a rod that goes through and holds it in place. And then you could rotate the engine around like this. And then there's a bunch of different holes drilled in here to select, so if you wanted to kind of be at an angle, then you could put that in there and that would hold it like that. Or if you wanted it completely upside down, you could do that as well too. So, the other thing that you have is you have these bolts here that actually can be adjusted to whatever size engine that you're mounting up to. So, depending on what the mating surface looks like for your flywheel, um, you'll be able to mount that up. And so we'll go into that now. So this is definitely not needed, but it is definitely helpful to have a load leveler on your engine crane. Now, a couple of strong guys could come and lift this and hold it and try and get some bolts into here, you know, as quickly as they could, but I mean, I figure why not just make it easy on yourself. So, then what you could do is you want to position your crane in front of it, you know, get it relatively close. This isn't anything that needs to be rushed. I mean, what hurry are you in? Then what you're going to do is you're going to line up where the bolt hole should be. Take one of your bolts and slide it through one of the holes. You want to have a washer. Uh, you want to have a washer so that way it doesn't twist through or it has some kind of surface that will move and not cause not cause friction while you're doing this. Sometimes this first bolt can be kind of a pain, but once you get it started, you want to start all these with your finger so that way you don't strip any threads. Because believe me, if you strip threads doing this, you're not going to be happy. So, there's two. And there's four. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to tighten these down with your ratchet. You don't need to torque these down, you just want them to be snug. By snug, what I mean is you want it to just be... Just snug down really well, not torque down so you snap off the head of the bolt. Take the crane and drop it down slowly, make sure that there's no issues and that it's held snugly. Loosen up those chains and if you did use a load leveler, go ahead and remove all the bolts and take the load leveler and crane out of the way. Just like that, and then you are free to pull the pin and rotate the engine however you like, do whatever you want. And also, you do not have to have the engine stripped down as I do. Obviously, I did this on the stand. What you can do is not break everything. What you can do is put it on the stand fully assembled, obviously with the transmission removed. And disassemble it from there. That's how I do all my engines, which I will be getting to in a future video on how to do all of that. Then what you want to do is you want to loosen these bolts and then or the bolts and then the nuts on this side. So that way you can slide this down. You want to do them really lightly. You don't want to completely loosen these up, but just crack them loose. And then you want this hole to match up with this cylinder the best you can. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you are to that, the more center of balance you'll be because that's where the engine is balanced, right on the on the cam. So that's kind of the center of gravity for it. So the winner of this Rat Fink toy, I wish I had a drum roll because if I had a drum roll, I'd be... Hot Rat Girl! 
So Hot Rod Girl, if you're watching this video, go ahead and message me um, or go ahead and throw a comment below. Whatever you want to do, you won this little rat fink dude. He's pretty cool. He's got a tail. And his tail is like, goes all over the place. He's pretty neat. So you, he's going to be at your house now. So he's going to Bye bye, Coyote Car Channel. Hello, Hot Rod Girl. Hey, if you're not going to like or comment, um, at least subscribe. Subscribing is it's the biggest thing for my channel or anybody's channel for that matter. Comments um, and likes don't really do anything for it. So um, if you really want to help me out or if you want to see more videos and learn how to do some pretty cool stuff in the future, um, go ahead and subscribe. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye.